What's up everyone? In tonight's video, we're making some shredded chicken chaffles. So let's get started. What's up everyone? This is Jason and you're watching Just Jason Keto and More. In this week's video, we're going to make some chaffles using some leftover uh, shredded chicken that I made in the Instant Pot. Uh, we're going to use mozzarella cheese this week. This is two thirds of a cup. We've got two large eggs here. We're going to use two eggs because of the added protein that we're making in the chaffles. We've got some salt and pepper, and then we're going to add some of this uh, no sugar added barbecue sauce to the chaffles and see how that does as well. So we'll get set up and we'll get started. Okay, so we've got our two eggs here. And what we're going to do is we're going to add our cheese to the eggs. Again, this is just mozzarella cheese, just a fairly neutral flavored cheese that we're going to use for these chaffles tonight. And then we're going to use, oh, I don't know, probably half a cup of this shredded chicken that I made the other night. Uh, I actually made it in a live cook along on the, the channel, on a live stream on Wednesday night. Uh, I'll leave a link to that uh, live stream uh, on the video here somewhere and in the description so you can go check out how we made the the shredded chicken it's really simple quick and easy uh, which is the way i like uh, to make my recipes so we'll get that mixed in there we're going to add some salt and pepper into that as well make sure we get all the salt out of there that's just redmond's real salt and just some uh, fresh cracked black pepper so we'll get that all well mixed in. This is probably gonna make three or four chaffles with the two eggs and the added protein with the chicken. We'll just make sure that that's well incorporated in there. Now this chicken already has some of this barbecue sauce in it when we cooked it. Um, so, but we're gonna add just a little bit more to the mix here. Just add that in there. I probably don't want to add too much liquid to these uh, to these chaffles. Uh, obviously, you don't have to add the, the barbecue sauce at all uh, if you want to just stay with the, the chicken and the, the cheese. But I wanted to give it a try, see how it turns out. So that's all well mixed in there. So what we'll do is we'll set this aside. We'll get the Dash Minis all warmed up here. I've got two of the Dash Minis that we're gonna use. So we'll get these plugged in, get them preheated, and we'll start cooking. Okay, so now that our Dash Minis are all preheated, ready to go, uh, usually takes about three minutes. We're going to start adding our chaffle mix into them. We'll just get a couple of spoonfuls into each one here. We don't want to overfill it too much or we'll wind up with a mess on our hands. And that's never good. So that's the first one. number two there we'll spread it around a little bit and we'll close these up uh, probably take four or five minutes for them to cook and we'll bring it back when they're done okay so it's been about four minutes and I think our chaffles are done here in fact I've already opened them up because this one unfortunately wound up sticking to the top a little bit uh, but that's all right we can still get it out of there we'll pull this one out you can see it's nice and golden brown on both sides so we're just going to put these aside on a wire rack to let them cool down a bit. And we'll get the other chaffles in here. Hopefully they don't, uh, don't stick any worse than the first ones. Like I say, sometimes you just have to work at it to get them out of the, out of the waffle irons a little bit. It is a non-stick surface, but sometimes for some reason, certain 
Uh, chaffa recipes like to stick a little more than others. So it looks like we'll get four chaffles out of this mix here. Get that last little bit in there. Spread that out a little bit. And we'll get these ones cooked and we'll be right back. Okay, so we've got our four chaffles done now. Uh, they've been sitting on a wire rack long enough to, to cool down a bit so they're, they're not too hot. Uh, as you can see, they all turned out nice and golden brown and they smell really good. So let's try uh, pulling this one apart and see how, how it looks inside. We got a nice mozzarella cheese pull there. That looks really good actually. And you can see lots of that shredded chicken in there and I can really smell the, the barbecue sauce that I added. So let's give this a try. Yep. So yeah, you can really taste that chicken and the barbecue sauce in there. Nice and chewy. So yeah, the, uh, the shredded chicken really goes well in a chaffle. So I'd have to give that a thumbs up for sure as a win. Uh, so if you enjoy these videos, uh, please consider subscribing and uh, leave a comment. Let me know um, if there's some ingredients you'd like to see in a chaffle in a future video. We release these videos every week on Saturday at 7 p.m. Eastern. And then we go live every Thursday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern. So that's about it for this week. Till next time, keep on thriving, my friends.